Hi everyone, how are you doing? I just wanted to say thank you very much for visiting my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, comment even. It's been really nice reading everyone's comments. And I know because these, I've done quite a few of these, it's been quite fun. People coming in and giving me feedback about the colors and stuff like that. So yeah, it has actually been a fun little project to do in the lead up to Christmas. Today I'm going to be, I'm staying with, I, I'm using Montmartre pouring acrylics paints um, so these are already pre-mixed and today I'm going to be doing white gold Shiraz and pink I think this is just called uh, it's called hot pink hot pink the white I already have some already mixed into little bottles but it's all the same paint and we're going to see how this one turns out I've got, so I've got my little cup ready and I'm just going to start pouring the colors in and as usual I will forward fast forward this section so we're all set my cup is all nice and ready i think i'm gonna do like a flip cup just feels like this is a flip cup bauble look at that gold isn't it nice Wow, these colors are lovely. Oh. Cool, eh? Doesn't that look nice? Ah. I wonder, uh, observations, quick observations. I didn't put a lot of gold in this. Because sometimes the gold and the white don't always work, play nicely together. And I decided to trust that it would all go into the neck of the bauble and um, hasn't, sadly. So I'm just trying to stitch that up there a little bit. Just get that neck, that paint to travel in as much as possible without trying to, without muddying the, the neck of the bauble, you know. Also, I've realized I think my bauble's slightly squonk. Now, I thought everybody knew what that word meant, squonk, until I ran a workshop just recently and they were all like, what's that word mean? So for those who don't know what the word squonk is, it's my bauble isn't straight. It's a little bit off to the side. So I just want to straighten that up a bit make sure that it's straight and the only reason why we're doing that is because these are self-leveling uh, and anything that you do with acrylic pouring is self-leveling and so and when it's self-leveling like that it can you know so if if my ball was going this way all the paint's going to go off there so i just want to keep it balanced i do like it though it's pretty and you can actually see it because, you know, you, when you look at my stick, there's hardly any paint this side, but it's all on this side. And that's because it's been a little bit like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. And pretty. I do like the colors. I think I should have added more gold. But thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. So I wanted to show you the end result of the pink bauble pour we did. And I think when I was, I mentioned in the video that there wasn't that much gold that came through. And I did actually do this at the end um, after I'd stopped recording. I just dropped a little bit of gold, just a blob here and a blob there. I thought of dropping a blob here, but there was a bit of gold here at the time. I'm sorry, I probably probably should have done four, you know, four. Uh, and, you know, the blob, and I did it on purpose so it would just draw, you know, travel into the neck like, oh, like it has. And I think it's still, you know, it would have probably been nice to have some uniformity, but then in a way I think it's quite nice that there isn't uniformity. So I love the colors. I really do. I think these are really pretty colors together. Uh, that's the top of the bauble. It's, it looks like a flower. It came out really nicely and that's the sides and I think the little bit of gold makes it interesting 
there's the bottom. So yeah, that one came out really well.